Let's connect. This is Ricardo Castro with Castro Realty Group and Nebraska Realty, uh, celebrating this year my 20th anniversary as a realtor in Nebraska, and I'm glad and honored to celebrate our 10th year anniversary with Castro Realty Group. Uh, July 2013 is when uh, some uh, realtors got together and we, we decided to join forces and do Castro Realty Group. It's been 10 years of uh, gladly representing uh, many buyers, sellers, families, investors, I would say thousands of them, selling and buying residential and commercial real estate. Here we are today to bring information, to bring uh, information about the community, about uh, resources, about introduce ourselves, introduce our team members, and in, in other words, bring you up-to-date local information regarding real estate and businesses. Uh, I'm so glad to have here with me a friend of my family, Scott Peck. Scott is a native from uh, Council Bluffs, Iowa. He's been pretty active in our community in Omaha. I, I knew Scott for at least 15 years. Him and his family are uh, excellent advocates of, of the businesses, of the business people, of the small business uh, uh, segment in our community. Uh, nothing else to to say from me at this point because I want to introduce Scott. Scott, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ricardo. I, I'm, I'm excited to be here. Scott is a new member of our team, uh, Castro Realty Group. We are eight people now, a uh, licensed realtors, and Scott is the new addition. Um, Scott, tell us a little bit about your yourself, your family. Sure. Excellent. Yeah, uh, I am, I'm from Council Bluffs originally. I've lived in Omaha for now uh, 20 years. Uh, I, I moved here uh, soon after coming back. Uh, I was living in, in other parts of the country, and I moved back here, and I, I moved back here about 20 years ago. Um, I am a business professor here in town. I, I teach for Bellevue University and also Metro Community College, usually uh, business subjects and economics. Uh, my wife is uh, the president of the Nebraska Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, and we've been involved in promoting business and helping people start business uh, for several years. Excellent. Uh, besides his involvement, besides that, Scott has a heart to teach, that, that he likes to teach. And uh, that's one of the, the strengths that he brings to our team, is how he's going to explain and inform people and educate our people how to uh, not only become first-time home buyers, also real estate investors. As many of you know, uh, we in our team, we represent uh, many people flipping houses or, or landlords. Uh, we are proud to have pretty good connections with uh, contractors, with uh, licensed plumbers, electricians, uh, general contractors, and we know the steps in order to go and, and uh, ask for uh, permits with the city of Omaha or, or even... Uh, in Lincoln area. We have a, an agent base there. Uh, Scott, uh, you're, you're, you've been involved in the business sure. arena for many years. What do you think, or how do you think that strength is gonna help you well, serving uh, well, uh, buyers and sellers? Yeah, absolutely. Well, here's the thing. I, I, I truly believe that understanding business and finance can change communities. It's a uh, founding philosophy that I have. I believe that if I can teach people how to best use their resources, they can become wealthier, their family can be better off, and they can use their assets to the best of their ability. And I think that that's what I, one of the great things that I have as far as uh, the strengths that I have. I hold a doctorate in business, so I can... I can tell people strategies and actions and things like that. And I really see uh, real estate as a great uh, option for them because it's so accessible. Uh, they can reach out and they can talk to uh, Castro Realty Group and we can help people uh, access an asset and you know really improve their wealth. It's something that I'm very excited to do. I want to help people you know make the transitions in their life, especially with people that uh, might not have really dealt with it for a number of years, been involved with finance or business or anything like that. How can they make the most money and how can they do the best for themselves? 
economic development, that could be the key word here. And uh, we did a conference last uh, Friday, I think, on uh, part of the real estate uh, investment and reinvestment uh, activity that we've been facing and, and witnessing and uh, supporting over the years uh, helps with that, with economic development. The, the real estate industry uh, nationwide and uh, usually involves different factors. In, involves a buyer, involves a seller, in, involves contractors, involves taxes, uh, lending, uh, different uh, players in, in one equation. And uh, at this point, Scott, with his uh, uh, economics and business uh, experience, can help you making the right decision. Of course, the, the right decision when investing in real estate uh, comes down to mainly one thing, which is numbers. Basically, if, if the numbers make sense, if you want to purchase a property for uh, rental uh, reasons, if you want to rent a property, or if you want to flip a house, if you want to buy, fix, then uh, put it back in the market, it's numbers have to make sense. And our duty here is to make sure that you acquire the property that makes sense in order to invest X amount of money and have a good return, a solid return. Mm -hmm. uh, Scott, uh, Omaha itself, uh, and due to the conference, we learned about several organizations mm -hmm. helping and supporting small businesses. I'm sure. surprised. I've been here for 20 years as, as a realtor, right. and uh, I always felt, and I, I witnessed, I'm myself, I'm, I'm, I'm a business owner, mm -hmm. taking advantage of the friendly environment that we face here for small businesses. Uh, but... Uh, in this conference, we learn about other organizations and institutions, non-for-profit and some others, depending on our, our state or, mm -hmm. or city, city uh, uh, governed. How do you think uh, uh, we can convey that, that information to the, to the clients and how can they take advantage of them? Well, one of the great things, again, is this is uh, with all these new resources. One of the things that I took away from the conference is that this is a great time for investment. If you've never done it before, there's opportunities to do it. And different groups that I'd never heard of. Uh, let's say you went uh, to a bank before and they turned you down for your business loan or whatever you wanted to do. There's these new groups out there that are saying, you know what? We don't care what the bank says. We're going to help you. And I was pretty excited about that because they said we can even help people that are investing in real estate and trying to build their business. And, and I, I thought that was really awesome. And one of the things that that's one of the things that you that uh, a lot of regular people aren't going to be able to find out. You call us and you're looking into something. You could talk to us and, and, and I can I can help you uh, make sense of the numbers, especially, you know, a lot of people are afraid of math. But I'm I'm not I'm not a person that uh, will shy away from it. I'll sit down and do the work, and we can talk about it. And uh, uh, I can tell you about all these new groups and opportunities to uh, find investment, whether it's just for your business or if you're looking to invest in real estate. We can we can work it out. When when uh, doing business in real estate, when you go and knock the doors for a bank uh, asking for a loan. Usually, what we recommend our clients when they come to our office and say, I want to invest in real estate, I want to make do business out of it, the next question we ask is, do you want to buy to become a landlord, to rent, or you want to flip? Some people say, I don't know, whatever makes more sense. We always ask, ask them, please try to, we give them, of course, the reasons, the, the pros and cons, because, of course, there's cons in, in anything for them to make the right decision, but they need to make a decision be between which of those two wings, if you want to call it that sure. way, you're going to choose. Because when you go to a bank, you got to sell the right business idea. Yeah. You have to convince the bank for them to trust you and to, loan you, to lend you money. And, uh, and that's when Scott can play an important role because in other words, the best way you sell your project, your business project, to the, the bank's decision makers is the best way you're going to get not only the, the, the dollar amount, also the better terms in, in, in the loans, the better terms for the loans. Right. Right? Have a, have a plan. Uh, the business plan, the classic business plan, it's a definite must. Uh, listen, if I'm doing business in South Omaha, it's going to be a different animal than if I am buying houses in Ralston. 
uh, the target market is going to be different. And that target market is probably essential. The bank's going to need to know how you're going to make money. Who is it that you're, you're, you're going to uh, rent to, uh, if you're going to rent, or if you're going to flip it and you're going to try to uh, resell a property. Uh, and that is what, what has to make sense. A, a strong business plan is when you're starting any sort of a business is a, is a must because it not only helps the bank understand, but it helps you have like kind of a game plan for yourself. You might've written your business plan, but it helps you follow step by step. Am I doing this the right way? I said I was going to, um, you know, uh, buy houses and rent to the Hispanic market. Well, do I understand the Hispanic market and can I run this effectively? The bank needs to know that and so do you. And he's telling you what he just said based not only his business education, also he owns rental properties. Mm -hmm. So he's been already facing uh, the different uh, consumer behaviors in, in, in different parts of town. And um, uh, knowing the, the market, realizing what your goals are and uh, before setting the plan. And, and, and don't get scared about a business plan. It could be a plan, you know, a plan for your business. It doesn't have to be anything rocket science. And of course, if the bank for some reason, let's say you're applying for a, a, commercial, a commercial real estate loan back at by the SBA, by the Small Business Administration, of course, he can help you with a more detailed business plan. And that's already included in his duties. Is is no extra charge for things. Like Absolutely. That. Yeah, I, I write these all the time. This is something that I've been accustomed to. If you want to do projections, we can even do projections. That's that math side that people are just a lot of the time are just afraid to do. I will do that. It's not something that I shy away from. And it's something that I am happy to help you with. Uh, you know, young, you know. here's the thing, and before you think, gosh, that's a young man's game, the average age of a new investor is about 43 years old. So it's up there. You're, it's not something that you, you have to be afraid of because, oh, well, I missed the boat. You, we can do it at any age. Excellent, excellent. Scott, what can you tell me uh, about the Council Bluffs area? Sure. Market. Well, for, 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 for the real estate business. I think that there's a lot of great opportunities over there. Houses cost a little less. Um, I was just looking at my, 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 my mom uh, asked me to look at her house the other day. And a house that I expected in Omaha, you know, I'd purchased houses before. I guess I, it wouldn't have uh, cost any more. It would have probably been valued at like 150 to 175 And then I looked at the... the um, uh, the rates that were going on over there and did a did a quick little analysis and her house is only worth about a hundred thousand so there's value over there it's, it's it's very inexpensive there's a lot of people kind of finding that value so this is kind of the right time to kind of start considering that because if a lot of people start finding the value and saying hey this is close to downtown i don't have to drive that far this is the time to po hop on that and, and grab that hot potato because not, then those prices are going to start popping up and I also heard there's going to be some uh, city investments in, in that part of town, right? Uh, it, joining uh, in a fastest way, Omaha with council bluffs in different aspects. Absolutely. The, they've already done a lot of work. The, the, the interstates have been changed around, making it really easy to get in and out of council bluffs. They're doing, you know, you can walk even from certain areas of council bluffs. You can actually take a uh, walk across the bridge if you want to get a workout in the morning, get down to, and go directly downtown. Uh, what we offer you at Castle Realty Group is people like Scott, academically uh, well-informed and educated so he can help you put things together. But at the same time, we are, we're a, a group of different people with different strengths. You know, we have Yadira Holman, for example. She's, she she uh, used to do real estate in Texas and Georgia. She has a lot of experience with that. Uh, Vladimir Bassan, he's located in Lincoln, Nebraska, and he serves that market. And he also was a contractor, a general contractor. Uh, back in the day, uh, Victor Ortiz, he ran different businesses, so his, his mindset is, is business oriented. Uh, we have Marta uh, Gomez, she focuses a lot on uh, first time home buyers, uh, like many of us being bilingual. Scott can understand Spanish as well. And it, we, are, um, we have a Juan, Juan, uh, Juan also. <laughs> 
Uh, let, let's do redo that. So we'll redo the part where you go and uh, so when you say that, just go and Juan, okay. and then just what do you want to use? My shorter name, Baron. Just no, Juan Mosqueda. Juan Mosqueda. Perfect. <laughs> and. And Juan Mosquera, Juan Mosquera is a young professional. He's going to law school, and uh, also he comes from a, from a family of business, small business owners in South 24th Street. So he sees uh, his perspective of, of, of life and, and business is, is pretty wide too. Uh, we have Enrique Vega. Enrique Vega is being in the in the heavy construction business for many years, wo working for bigger companies, doing roads and and uh, commercial construction. So the 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 perspective and uh, the contacts that we can bring to you are endless in, in many ways. Uh, Scott, where, where can uh, our audience find you? So you can call me at 402-714-8152, or you can call me, or you can email me at Scott uh, C R G houses at gmail.com. You got it. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you all for your uh, attention one more time. Thank you all for uh, being with us over the last, I think, it's six months already. And uh, we are planning to be uh, doing this for a long time. We are not experts in, in, uh, in front of a camera, but we are experts in real estate. So uh, we are just trying to convey the right information and local information. Local is the key word lately. I mean, we... We got so many people showing up in our office or calling us with ideas or contacts from a podcast uh, or from different um, resources from different states. Sometimes they don't apply to what you want to do here. So you better ask questions as many as you, you want. We don't charge you for, for sitting down with us to explain you what, how to guide you, but that's our duty. And our Nebraska Real Estate License actually ask us to support you, to inform you on detail, and to educate our people on how to address uh, a good decision of, of uh, purchasing real estate. Okay, we are Castro Realty Group, Nebraska Realty. Our website crghouses.com, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Castro Realty Group, and all our social media and social media under the same Castro Realty Group. Ricardo Castro, 402-319-0093 is the, the phone number of our office with Castro Realty Group in Nebraska Realty.